to the touch of God. God. And the touch of God is the what? Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. It's given to us as a gift. gift. And once we get that Holy Spirit that's given to us as a gift, what does it do? It pours out, out God's love, love in, in our, our hearts. hearts. What's so hard about that, y'all? You never looked at your book. Mm -hmm. See how easy it is? You never looked at your book. Mm -hmm. Amen. You just gave me Leviticus 2.12. You mm -hmm. just gave me Jeremiah 17.19. You just gave me Ezekiel 11.19 through 20. And you gave me Romans 5.5. Five. Mm -hmm. Now, we need to know the reason, right? Mm -hmm. So we move to number five, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the reason is so that we can do what? Matthew. Love God. Love God. Oh. Okay, give me the scripture, child. Matthew. Matthew what? 22. 22. 37. 37. Through 40. Through 40. And that's so we can do what? Love, Love the, the Lord, Lord our God. God. Love, see? It's very important we put Lord, right? Mm -hmm. Because that means he's our what? He's our master. He's our master. master. Love the Lord. Who's God? Our, our God. God. Our, because that's what we, because we say he's our God, we make Amen. the profession, right? Yes. Amen. We profess that God is my God, don't we? Amen. Yes. So if God is our God, what do we have? Now, look at the board. Now look at the board. If God is my God, what do I have from him? I have. A, I look have. at the board. Before you answer. I have the Holy Spirit. No. Nope. No. I'm on the rush for the answer. Okay, I'm sorry. I have, I have, if God is my Lord, he's my God, what do I have? I have one heart, a new heart, a new spirit, a heart of flesh that is sensitive and responsive to the touch of my God. How did I get that? By the Holy Spirit. That was a gift. And the Holy Spirit poured out the love of God in my heart. Thank you very much. It's easy. Mm -hmm. It's all on the board. That's all you said. That ain't hard. Mm -hmm. That ain't hard. Amen. When you guys leave out of here, you should know that. It should be written on your heart. Put in your mind, put in your mind, written in your heart. I'm spending a lot of time on this because this is very important to me. And these people need to know where we are today mm -hmm. and where they are at. Amen. You Amen. understand what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. Okay. So, Charles, what is the purpose and the reason for me having this? Matthew 22, 37, and 50. So I can do what? Love the Lord my God. Love. Thank you very much. Personal. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. I love the Lord my God. I love you for that, Charles. You made it personal. With what? All my heart. All my heart. All my soul. All my soul. All my mind. All my mind. Which is my intellect. Which is my intellect. Now mm -hmm. that I can do that, what else has that love of God that's been given to me from, uh, that has been given to me through the gift of the Holy Spirit, what else am I enabled to do, Charles? To love my neighbor as I do myself. Thank you. How much time I got? <laughs> Five minutes? Oh, God. Good. That's this okay. is part one. Amen. Four minutes. Cleo? Amen. Cleo, this is part one of how can I know I love God. That's what this is part one of. We're coming back with part two. Amen. Okay? Amen. Because when we go to part two, it's going to be a bang game. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Because now we know that our hearts are what? Full, Full of corruption. corruption. According to what? Leviticus, Leviticus 2.12. 12. And the corruption in the Old Testament, Rashman, is symbolic of what? Leaving and honey. You tell me. Tell me your preacher teaching you like this. Mm -mm. Tell me he, you. So do you understand and know what has happened to you? If it has what? Truly, Truly happened. happened. If it has what? Truly, Truly happened. happened. This is called new what? Birth. birth. That's new birth. This is called being what? Born, Born again. again. Thank you very much. <laughs> this is not a physical impulse, is it? Mm -mm. No, sir. Is it? No, no sir. You don't you do get this walking the aisle, no, do you? No. You don't walk, the, you don't, you ain't coming down the aisle and at the same time you coming down the aisle, God don't gave you the Holy Spirit, then he pouring his love out of your heart and you go back in the world and live the way you used to. No, Amen. sir. Because once you receive this love of God, once you receive this Holy Spirit, what pours out the love of God in your heart, mm -hmm. who do you love? The Lord, my God. My God. With all the Lord your God, with all your heart, with all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength. Right? Right? Yes. Amen. So you don't want to offend him, mm -hmm. do you? Amen. Because you what? Because I love him. I love Thank the Lord. you. Because I love him. You want to please him. Now, it's the love is not only or singly for me to love God. 
For me to exist in this world is given to me so I can do what? Love my neighbor. Thank you very much. For me to exist in this world and get along with everybody is also for me to do what? Love, love my, my neighbor, neighbor as I do myself. myself. Thank you very much. Never forget love my neighbor. Because he never told you to love who? Yourself. Because you already what? Do love that. Yourself. So now <laughs> he's got to give you what? Now he has to give you what? One you already one. love yourself. Right. Look at the board. One. Look at the whole board. Don't okay. look down here. Okay. You already love yourself. Amen. So now he has to give you the Holy Spirit. Which, and the love of God has to be poured out in my heart. So you can love the who? Lord, my God. God. Lord, God. With God. all, all my, my heart, heart, all, all my, my soul, soul, all my, my mind. Spirit. And my intellect, so I can love my neighbor as I do myself. Because I already love my what? Myself. I don't love who? I don't love God. God the Lord, my God, and I don't. Nope, because no. you're not your Lord oh, yet. I'm sorry. I don't love he, the. I don't love the Lord, uh, God. Thank you. I hate God. I hate God. And I don't love my neighbor. I don't love my neighbor. Who too. do I love? Myself. <laughs> Amen. And that's it. I only love myself. This is the Narrow Dose Ministry. I'm your Bible teacher, Minister Dennis Rogers. Grace and peace be unto you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. You guys turn that up a little bit. Turn that light up on a little bit on the camera. Gentlemen, on number two, turn the light up a little bit. Thank you. This is the Narrow Dose Ministry. I'm your Bible teacher, Minister Dennis Rogers. Grace and peace be unto you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. We're talking about the love of God. We're talking about being born again. We're talking about the love of God and being born again. This is the second part of a two-part teaching that I begin to teach. You must have the first part in order to understand the second part. We've been talking about the love of God. We're going right into that teaching so we can understand. Rashmi, give me Leviticus chapter 2. Verse number 12. As an offering of first fruits, you may offer leaven and honey to the Lord, but they shall not be burned on the altar for a sweet odor to the Lord, for their aid to fermentation is, is symbolic of corruption in the human heart. Come on, uh, Charles Randall. The heart is deceitful above all things, and it, it is exceedingly perverse and corrupt and severely morally sick. Who can know it? Perceive, understand, be acquainted with his own heart and mind. Come on, Charles O'Hearn. And I will give them one heart, a new heart, and I will put a new spirit within them. And I will take the stony, unnaturally hardened heart out of their flesh and will give them a heart of flesh, sensitive and responsive to the touch of their God. Let's go to Matthew chapter 22. And we want to pick it up. Matthew chapter 22. And we want to read at verse number... 37 through 40. Come on, Rashmi. And he replied to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart. Let's read verse number 36. Amen. Amen. Let's read 36. Amen. Read. Teacher, what kind of commandment is great and important, the principal kind in the law? Principal means what? 
first. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Some commandments are light, which are heavy. And he replied to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind or intellect. This is the great, most important principle and first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as you do yourself. These two commandments sum up and upon them depend all the law and the prophets. Okay, let's, excuse me. I, I messed up. Let's go to Romans, Charles, or her. Give me Romans 5, 5. Amen. Read. Such hope never disappoints, deludes, shames us. For God's love has been poured out in our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Okay, let's run through these scriptures one more time. Rashmi, Leviticus 2, 12. As an offering of first fruits, you may offer leaven and honey to the Lord, but they shall not be burned on the altar for a sweet odor to the Lord. For their aid to fermentation is symbolic of corruption in the human heart. Come on, Charles the heart, Randall. The heart is deceitful above all things, and it is exceedingly perverse and corrupt, and severely morally sick. Who can know it, perceive, understand, be acquainted with his own heart and mind? Charles O'Hearn. And I will give them one heart, a new heart, and I will put a new spirit within them. And I will take the stony, unnaturally hardened heart out of their flesh. And will give them a heart of flesh, sensitive and responsive to the touch of their God. Romans 5, 5. Amen. Three. Amen. Such hope never disappoints or deludes or shames us. For God's love has been poured out in our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Matthew 22, 36 and 40. Charles O'Hearn. Amen. Teacher, which kind of commandment is great and important? The principal kind in the law. Some commandments are light, which are heavy. And he replied to him. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and your intellect. This is the great, most important principle and first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as you do yourself. These two commandments sum up upon them depend all the law and the prophets. We read to you five passages of scripture. We read to you Leviticus 2.12, which tells us the heart is full of corruption. We read Levitic, uh, Jeremiah 17, verse 9, which says the heart is deceitful, exceedingly perverse, corrupt, severely, mortally sick. We read to you Ezekiel 11, verses 19 through 20, which says God has to give us one heart, new heart, new spirit, give them heart of flesh so they can be sensitive, responsive to the touch of God. This happens, this is done by Romans 5, 5. It give, God gives us his Holy Spirit, pours out the love of God in our hearts by the Holy Spirit through him. The Holy Spirit is a him that is given unto us. So that we can, Matthew 22, 36 through 40, so we can love the Lord thy God, the Lord my God, or our God. We put my, because we make it personal, with all my heart. What heart? This new heart. But all my soul, this new spirit, or new soul, words use it interchangeably, or this new spirit, and this new mind, this new intellect, then I'm able by the love of God being poured out in my heart, I have the ability now to love God with all my heart, all my soul, all my mind, and I have the ability to love my neighbor as I love myself. I cannot love my neighbor as I love myself. I already love myself, so now I need to love my neighbor. But I can't love my neighbor except God gives me the Holy Spirit, pours out this love of God in my heart. He does this. How? He makes it one heart, a new heart, a new spirit. He gives us a heart of flesh so we're sensitive and responsive to the touch of God, which the touch of God is the Holy Spirit that pours out the love of God in our hearts so I can love God with all my heart, all my soul, all my mind, and I can love my neighbor as I love myself. Because when I come into the world, every human being that ever came into this world through the vagina of the man, that means the sperm, ejaculated into the, the vagina of the woman, woman, fertilizing the egg that is in that woman. The two becoming how many? One. One. 
the two have be the two becoming one. What's the sperm? Fertilize that egg. Every individual that comes out the womb of the woman that comes into this world, comes into this world hating God, hating their neighbor, Amen. and only loving who? Themselves. Every human being that came through the sperm of a man, which the sperm is in his loins, comes down, runs through, ejaculated out of his penis into the vagina of a woman. The egg fertilized, the, the sperm fertilizes, fertilizes that leg, egg. The two becomes what? One. It becomes one. The child then is ejaculated or comes forth or brung forth out of the womb of the woman. Once that child enter into this world, into this society, once it is born in a hospital in the city of Chicago, that child is born only loving who? Self. That child does not love who? His neighbor. That child does not love who? God. So now, I need some love in my what? Heart. In my heart. Because my heart is what? Full of corruption. My heart is what? Deceitful. My heart is what? Exceedingly perverse. My heart is what? Corrupt. Corrupt. Severely, Severely mortally sick. sick. I have a disease, don't I? Yes. I have a sickness, right? Yes. That sickness is called what? Sin. Sin. Thank you very That's much. Because we are born in what? Sin. Sin. And we're shaped in what? Iniquity. I have a sickness. I have a disease. Everybody that ever came into this world, your mama, your grandmama, big mama, your granddaddy, your great daddy, Frederick Douglass, Harriet Tubman, Nat King Cole, Nat Turner, Nat Pone, Nat this, Nat, I don't care who they was. Same. Mother Teresa, I don't Martin Luther King, I don't care who they was, the Pope, I don't care what human being that came through the loins of a man, through his penis, ejaculated by that little sperm that swims in towards that ovum fertilizes that egg. The two becomes one. The woman brings forth that child out of that womb. That child comes in this world loving who? Self. Because it's got a, it's mortally sick, right? Amen. What's wrong with it? Sin. And that is what? Corruption. Corruption. That makes his heart what? Deceitful, exceedingly, exceedingly perverse, perverse, corrupt, corrupt severely, severely morally sick. sick. Now God got to perform a uh, heart surgery. Hallelujah. <laughs> God had to perform heart surgery, give that individual a heart transplant. He is not talking about the physical heart. Uh, we're amen. talking about the what? Spirit. Spirit. We're, we're, we're not talking about the physical heart. We're talking about the what? The, the heart, the soul. Heart. heart. What does heart mean? Oh. Man, come on. The understanding. We're not talking about the physical right. heart. The understanding. Right. The, the will. We're talking the about the understanding. The, the will. The will. The, and the, the affections. The, the emotions. emotions. The plan. His, his purpose. purpose. His, his intentions. His desires. Now, love. Faith, etc. Amen. Et Amen. Okay. And he, when he gives them this one heart, when he gives them one will, the one intellect, the one mind, the one feelings, the one purpose, mm -hmm. the one affection, his motive, it's going to be toward God uh, first. Uh, Is that not what the scripture says? Amen. Yes. Amen. And then it's going to be toward his what? Neighbor. Neighbor. He's going to come what? Last. Thank Second. you very much. Thank and you, he's Charles gonna Randall. Last. He's Amen. going to come last. Amen. Because he come in this world thinking that he is what? First. 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 And the first shall be last. Man. And the last, and the last shall, shall, be shall be first. first. I got you. Amen. Many are. Uh, Call, Call but few you are chosen. chosen. Those that are chosen, eyes up on the board. Amen. Those that are chosen has one heart, one heart a new heart, heart, a new spirit, spirit heart, of heart of flesh, heart of flesh sensitive, sensitive and responsive to the, to the touch, touch of God. God. Because they have been given the, the Holy spirit. spirit. And when the Holy Spirit came into the understand the will. will. He poured out the what? The love, love of God, God. So that we could do what? Love, love the Lord our God, God with all my heart, heart with all my soul, soul with all my mind, mind, which is my intellect, intellect and love my neighbor, neighbor as, as I do self. myself. Because when I come, look, ask oh. continually on the board. I want you in the book. Amen. I want you in the book. Because when I come in the world, I love who? Myself. Self. That's because I'm what? Of corruption. Of corruption. The corruption is the what? Sin. Which makes my heart deceitful, deceitful exceedingly perverse, perverse corrupt, corrupt, severely morally sick. sick. I got a disease. Amen. I'm not what? Sensitive, not sensitive responsive, responsive to, to the touch, touch of God. God. Because my heart is what? Full, Full of corruption. corruption. Deceitful, exceedingly perverse, perverse corrupt, corrupt, severely morally sick. What's wrong with me? Sin. 
don't love the Lord, Lord my God. God. I don't love my, my neighbor. So as I, I have to myself. be given. A heart, a heart of flesh, flesh to make me sensitive, sensitive and responsive, responsive to the, the touch of God, which is His love, love. and the touch of the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit that pours, pours out, out the, the love of God, God in my heart. heart. Thank you very much. Don't need you no book. You don't need no book. Amen. We don't need no book no more. All you need now is your Ten Commandments. Let's do neighbor first. The word neighbor in the New Testament is P-L-E-S-I-O-N, plesion. That is the word neighbor. Reading to you from the Theological Dictionary of the New Testament, Gerhard Kittle, Gerhard Friedrich Editors by Geoffrey W. Bromelai. This is a bridge in one volume. This is a ten-volume set. That's it. This is why we define words. We're looking at the word neighbor. What is the word plesion? Starting at the top, and I'm going to read down to verse 4. Y'all did, y'all can pick it up. Mm. The Greek word formed from placeo, close by. This word placeo comes from the Greek form, os, which means Charles, Charles, and Rashmi. It means close by. Okay? Mm -hmm. So what does neighbor mean? Close by. Close, close by. by. That's what neighbor means. Close by. We in one accord? Amen. Amen. The Greek form, the Greek word. Form from placios close by. O placion is the neighbor, the person next to one. So what is the neighbor? The person, person next, next to, to one. one. And he's what? Close, close by. by. Thank you very much. You can put that on your paper, Ross. We get your pen out, man. Placios, P-L-E-S-I-O-S, -E which means close by. Ho, that's H-O, Charles, which is the definite article of the H-O, Placeon, P-L-E-S-I-O-N, is the neighbor. It means the person next to one. Again, Rashman is Placeos, P-L-E-S-I-O-S, which means close by. Ho, H-O, and Placeon, P-L-E-S-I-O-N, is the neighbor. Placeon, Ho, Placeon means the neighbor. I apologize, Charles Render. I forgot you was coming. That's how I printed you one out to Please accept my apology. It means whole place on is the neighbor. It means the person next to one. Now, Charles Randall, right now, mm -hmm. who is your neighbor? Rashman. Right now, according to the definition, who is your neighbor? Rashman and Charles. Who is your neighbor, Rashman? Charles Randall. Thank you. Who is your neighbor, Charles? Charles Randall. Why? Because he's close by me. He's what? He's next to me. Thank you very much. Amen. That's what neighbor means. Hello? Amen. Your neighbor is the one who was the one who was close by you, the person that is next to another person. Amen. Right or wrong? Correct. Correct. All right now. That's what neighbor means. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it means close by. Amen. If I'm standing hey, hey, if I'm standing in jewels and it's a lady in front of me. Her name is Sally. Amen. And it's, a and it's a lady in back to me. Her name is Allie. Are they my neighbor? Yes, sir. Yes. Why? Because they're close, close by, by you and next, next to you. To you. What if John is standing right here? He becomes your He's neighbor. He's your neighbor. What if Ralph is standing right here? He's neighbor. your neighbor. So the one in the what? The, front. Front. the one in the what? Back. back. And both sides All are, of my are who? All neighbors. Your neighbor. What, what makes them my neighbor? Because close they're by. next close to you and they're close, close by you. By. Thank you very much. So when I'm on the L, who am I standing next to? <laughs> my neighbor. When I'm in the grocery store, who am I standing next my to? My neighbor. When I'm in the bank, who am I standing next to? My neighbor. When I'm dealing with the teller at the bank, who am I with? My neighbor. When I go into the Arab gas station, <laughs> <What>? pay for <laughs> my gas, who am I paying my gas to? My, my neighbor. The individual that I ain't never seen before in my life, Cleo, standing behind me, waiting to pay for their gas. Who are they? My, My neighbor. neighbor. This is good. <laughs> Amen. I'm on my way to the bus stop, Rashmi. Mm -hmm. I pass an individual on my way to the bus stop. Mm -hmm. That individual just became my what? Neighbor. Oh, God help me in Jesus' name. Hmm. 
I don't know her. Mm-mm. But if I'm born again, I do what? Love I him. do love your love him. I love him. That's right. That's right. I love him because what? Because the Holy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit pours, pours out, out the love, love of God, God in your heart. So I can do what? Love, love, love God, my God, God with all, all my heart, all my soul, and all my mind, my intellect. So I love, love my neighbor as I love myself. myself. I'm driving in my Cadillac. <laughs> I pull up in my Cadillac. The guy next to me is driving an old raggedy 62 Chevy. Amen. His car break down. What do I get out and do? Love your name. Hey, Charles, that's all I want to hear y'all say. That's all I want to hear you say. Okay, so that was what you did when we were on the expressway with the tire, the guy with the tire. Okay, I got you. We was on our way to the studio today. Truck driver driving 18 wheeler. He ain't got no tire, Roshman. Roshman, he got the two tire. He ain't got no, Charles ain't had no tire in it. Mm-mm. He run it on a raggedy tire. Mm. I stopped on the expressway. And I flagged him down. He thought I was asking him to get over. I wasn't asking him to get over. I was pointing out to him, sir, you don't even have no second tie. Mm-hmm. He had the tie on the outside, but the tie on the inside, all of it was tore up. Mm-hmm. Wasn't it, Charles? Yes. He was practically riding on a rail. Mm-hmm. What did I do, Charles? You said your tire's out. You beat your well, horn. Uh, Charles, I need oh, I'm sorry. Detail. I'm sorry. You loved your neighbor. That's wrong. Because okay. if mine was like that, I want you to tell me. Yes. Mm-hmm. We don't supposed to say... It's not none of my business my if fault. we have the what? Love of God. The if love we have God, the what? The love of God in our heart. If we have the love of God poured out, out in our heart. By the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. That is what? Given, given unto to us. Because it's a what? It's a, a gift. gift. But what if, what, what if I claim...